Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, hi, my name is Chrysler. So today I'm going to be showing you the makeup look that I wore in my March vlog. And it was very Korean inspired. I got inspired on Instagram. You know those videos, there's so many videos. I did a full face explaining everything. I just had a lot to say, like some tips and tricks if you really wanna go like all out. But of course, just take what you want from this video. I'm not Korean, I'm only half Filipino. Obviously I'm not white like a Korean, I'm tan and this is great for hooded eyes any type of eyes actually but I have hooded ones so it's really flattering and I like the way it looks I even go over eyebrows it's like super easy but of course I talk forever and I think it's really nice for spring so if you want to see how I did this look then just keep watching I am quite excited to film this because it's something that I've been wearing over and over so I've kind of experimented and I know what I'm going to show you now. One of you actually requested this, so thank you so much. It actually makes filming way more fun because I know that you guys want to see or one of you wants to see. So I want to tell you guys quickly that my eyebrows are filled in right now, obviously, if you can't tell. And for the Korean makeup look, they usually fill their brows in to look more straight, but of course you can do whatever eyebrows you want to do. I go back and forth between what kind of eyebrows I want to have and also I straighten my hair because I had straight hair in that clip so I just wanted to emulate as much Asian as I could for you even though it's totally unnecessary I wear this look when my hair is curly right now there's a bunch of product it's disgusting I put a bunch of dry shampoo to make it look okay but anyway I just wanted to get that out of the way you do not need straight hair you do not need straight eyebrows you can do whatever you want because the look is mainly focused on the eyes and the lip so let's get started also for my brows i just filled it in with the dip brow pomade in granite and you want them to look a little bit lighter and it's kind of difficult for me because the underneath of my eyebrows is very sparse that's just my natural brow shape so i have to fill that in to make it match the rest and just a quick tip if you do want to do the whole straight brow look i might do a video on this because i do it so often and i don't think any of my brow routine routines actually focus on how to change your brow shape fill in the tops in the front and then fill in underneath like heavily so that's what i do since korean beauty trends usually focus on glowing skin i'm going to use the becca backlight priming filter in what's this called i believe this is an opal so i'm just going to put a little bit of that oh i just realized that my mirror is not even in front of me so here we go so i mainly focus that on the center of my face right in here because everything else i'm going to contour so my face looks like this because that's what they like. For foundation, I'm using something very natural and light coverage because that's what I like. The Urban Decay Naked Skin, one and done. You've seen this a million times. And I have two shades here. I'm going to use the shade Medium first. So I'm going to just put that along the center of my face because that's just where I need help. And I'm also going to put some like around my mouth right here because we're gonna do stuff later. So I don't know if you can tell if that covered, but it did. And then the darker color, I'll be putting that along the perimeters. A little bit there. I look so white now because this has SPF. Always my problem. Next, I'm going to conceal my under eye circles. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in the shade Warm M27. I put that underneath the eyes and a little bit on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and I'm going to use a brush to blend this out because I just feel like it. This concealer does oxidize a little bit, so now it's not super brightening. I wanted it to be more brightening. I forgot to wet my beauty blender all the way, so I just sprayed it with some Fix Plus just so I could blend this out. So I'm going to bring that down the sides of my nose. To conceal some of these dark spots going on, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand. Never mind, I'm using my Naked Skin Concealer because it's a little bit lighter. Let's just put this on like that. Awkward. Now I'm going to start setting everything. So this is the Kat Von D Translucent Powder. I'm just going to dip my Beauty Blender. Sides of my nose. Get so wild. 
And for under the eyes, I like to use a small brush. This actually isn't that small. And set under there with that because it makes things look less cakey. We have to take a step back because I forgot to contour my face. For the past week, I've been using the Fenty Beauty Mocha, what's this called, matchsticks. And at first I thought this was too cool for me when you first apply it, but it actually is the right shade and it warms up. I use the same exact brush for the foundation. And I don't bring this in too much because Korean style makeup, they actually don't contour their cheekbones. They mainly focus down the sides of the face to kind of slim it out, which I also <laughs> enjoy. Not just because it's like Korean stuff, I really enjoy the sides of my face looking slim because it's just my life. And that's also a reason why I don't wax my sideburns. Like I wax people for a living. People come in and they want their sideburns waxed off. I have hair, but I just leave it because I think it slims my face out. And then a little bit up here because it looks like weird. The next order of business is furthermore contouring. So I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan duo that I mentioned in my March favorites. This is precisely why this has been a thing for me because it's a cool tone and just works really well over that Fenty to make it even cooler. And then I've been contouring my nose with this. So what I've been doing is using this brush. As you can see, it's like fluffy, but it's thin, like the barrel is squished. So I just dip into there and I start at the top of my nose, like connecting to my eyebrow and just like bring it down. Just made my face look dirty for a second. And then just lightly go down the sides, underneath. And then I take a brush like the setting brush and just blend things. And then to sharpen this all up, I take more translucent powder. This is why I've been contouring my nose more often because I've been doing this and it's just been easy. So I have the powder puff here from the little translucent powder and I just bring that along the sides of my nose. And when I do this, I don't let this sit for too long. Like it's only been 10 seconds and I'm ready to go. Next is blush. So I've been using this Eve Pearl, like I mentioned in my March favorites. So I'm gonna use it again here for you so you can see. Go into both. A Little bit on the nose, just cause that's what I like to do. And I'm going to use a liquid highlight today so it looks more natural. This is the Opal Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector. So this is the face. Now I'm going to spray it. I've actually been using my Fix Plus. It's just super like wet. And this makes your makeup look like skin, baby, skin. All right, now it's time to do the eyes. So I'm going to scoot you guys closer so you can see what I'm doing. For primer, I'm using the NYX Proof It. And I've just been using this for a long time. So when you're trying to recreate this look, you want to get glittery eyeshadows. And the ones that I have are ancient. Not kidding. The ones that I have are actually depotted and I know what they are because they're by Urban Decay. So what I use is Twice Baked. This is a chocolate brown with some gold glitter. And then the next color I use is Chopper. And it's kind of like a rose gold brown. It's not quite rose gold, it's not quite pink. So it's in between. And then the third color is really easy to find in your palette because it's pretty basic. The first thing I'm going to do is put a crease color in and I'm using Burnt Orange by Anastasia. So I'm going to close my eyes and put that above my crease. And this is going to be the transition shade. If you have hooded eyes, then you, this is the one you'll be able to see the most. And this is why I like this look because it's so easy. Now, as you can see when I open them, you can still see some skin, so I'm going to bring that down so it blends into my crease, like into those folds. 
and then blend this out and diffuse it. Next to highlight, I don't usually do this. I'm going to use Golden Ochre, and this is a satin shade. I personally don't really do shimmery highlight on my brow bone but for this look. It's fine. We're kind of going all over the place here with this look, but it's just so the eyeshadows are like really impacted, saturated. So I'm taking Twice Baked, which is that brown, and putting that on a brush like this. It's like an angled brush, but it's really thick. You could also use a base. I did that once, but we're just going for the easy way right now. And one thing you wanna be careful of is transfer. So if your eyelids like droop down onto your eyelid a lot, Make this line very thin or else it'll transfer. It was actually doing yesterday, but it was fine. It would just look like I made my crease a little bit deeper, but that's one thing that can happen. You could use like a gel eyeliner if it really happens to you, so keep that in mind. Now we're going to go into Chopper, which is that orange burnt with the glitter, and put that right above. So now I'm going to darken up twice baked in case it got kind of lost. So now that the top eyelid is done, we're going to move on to the lower eyelid. So I'm going to use Burnt Orange and put that right under there. And then taking a small pencil brush, Cypress Umber, which is this dark brown, I'm going to dip into that and put that like on the outer third. So it's kind of going to elongate your eye if you bring it out like kind of far. So now the next steps are mascara, and if you want, you can put on eyeliner. I know Korean makeup trends don't usually water line their waterline, but for me, I like that look. It just looks a lot better on myself, so I might do it. I'm gonna put on my mascara first to see how that turns out, and then we shall see. Now we're finally done with the eyes. It's time to move on to lips. I'm going to use Lolita 2 by Kat Von D, and this is a liquid lipstick, and it's pretty orange as you can see, but it's not like a super bright orange. So I'm gonna put that on the center, and then blend it out, do more. All right, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I thought that it was helpful. If you did, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you happen to be new, please subscribe to my channel so you can see me next time. It would really mean a lot. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.